y'all. Thanks for stopping by our channel. If you've never been here before, we are Super Geeked, where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. My name is Victoria, and if you didn't know already, I am a full-time reseller. So I purchase items at all kinds of places, whether it's clearance racks at a retail store or secondhand at a thrift store. I purchase items and then I sell them on Etsy, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari for a profit. And that's how I make money. So if you're interested in learning more tips and tricks on how to become a reseller for yourself, whether it's part-time or full-time, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you. We put out at least one reselling video a week. And today I have a special video. So I have this large amount of inventory here that I need to get listed. So if you want to see what the plan is for this big mountain of stuff that needs to be listed, then stick around. <laughs> So going into 2021, I knew that I was going to have this big pile of inventory or as some resellers call it, a death pile or a money pile. But basically it's sitting inventory that needs to be listed and I am going to get it listed. So I have a friend who is a reseller here locally in the community, but you probably know who she is. It's Alicia over at Murray Life. We go sourcing together and lately it's been about once every week or every other week to the bins. And I know she's got inventory. So I reached out to her and I said, how bad is your inventory pile? And she said, it's a lot. So I sent her a picture of mine. <laughs> that you just saw. And I said, why don't we challenge each other to get it listed? So we decided we were going to take five business days and we were going to challenge each other to list a hundred items. Yes, we both have a hundred items sitting around to be listed, but we also want to invite you to list your death pile. So hopefully you have a hundred items sitting around, but if not, that's okay. That means you're more on top of your inventory than we are. But if you want to participate, then we invite you to let us know and come along the journey with us. So this video today, I'm going to show you my pile. I'm going to show you my listing process. And we're going to see if by the end of Friday, January 8th, I can get it all listed. Fingers crossed. I do have two small children and I have to be mommy because my husband is gone for 24 hours at a time. He will be gone two days of this listing challenge to the fire department. So that's two days where I am on mommy duty for 24 hours by myself. So I'm hoping I can get it done. I have faith I'm going to do it and I can't wait to share this journey with you. And hopefully, hopefully by Friday, I have a hundred items listed. So here we go. First, I'm going to show you my unlisted inventory. All right, here she is. The pile I am starting off 2021 with. This is all the unlisted inventory I have. This is from my last trip to Mobile, to the Goodwill bins, and to the Goodwill store. I still need to steam and wash these items to prep them. This box is full of shoes, both um, mostly women's shoes, but a few pairs of men's shoes, a couple of vintage Disney toys. I don't usually sell toys, but I found those at a thrift store for my kids, and they never really played with them, so I'm going to get rid of them. There is two more boxes full of clothes. This bin, which is the same size as this one, is all men's. So it was donated men's and a couple pieces I picked up at the bins. And then there is tons of bags to list that I've never listed. Either I picked up at a thrift store, the bins, or were given to me. This is all clothing that needs to be listed. Some of it's prepped, some of it's not. And this is more bags. And then actually underneath the clothes, 
you can't see it because of this pile right here, but there are some hard goods, some uh, mid-century modern hard goods that I'm going to be listing also, and they are safely packaged in some boxes back there. That is what I am working with. That is my pile to start 2021. So I'm going to get to listing and I'm going to take you guys on my little listing adventure as I get all of these items listed and prepped and all that kind of stuff. All right, so we're kicking the day off. I'm sitting here at my desk and I am printing labels from sales last night. This is a pair of vintage guest jeans that sold for $65 on Poshmark. So I'm going to print labels and just get those out of the way so that I can start this listing challenge with my friend Alicia. I wanted to show y'all there is a building out back. You see that big yellow building back there in my backyard past the trampoline? That's where my inventory is stored. So I'm very fortunate I have a large building in my backyard and that's where I'm able to keep all my inventory so it's not in my space. But this is my desk. I keep several notebooks here. This is my YouTube notes on ideas for YouTube. This notebook is like a journal where I put down my thoughts. This is the Nicole State uh, reseller planner. As you can see, I put a Super Geek sticker on it. Duh. <laughs> and Poshmark. Um, and I'll show you what my page looks like so far for today. So this is all that I've listed in it so far. As you can see, the plan for the listing challenge is to prep 50 items and I need to finish cross posting. Um, I will fill out my entire day and block schedule it. That's the new plan. And you can put your mood in here, your item sold, new item sourced, which I don't plan on doing any sourcing today. So that'll be zero. And then she has a place for you to put notes and also how you grew today. So I love this planner so far. So thank you, Nicole State. Um, it's a great resource for resellers and to use for other things. So you don't have to just use this for reselling. But um, so far, that is my planner for the year and I am happy with it. And I also have my coffee. If you can see, it says I've got catitude. I actually thrifted this mug. I just wanted to mention it because Alicia did a TikTok and the kids over at TikTok were giving her some hate for using thrifted coffee mugs of all things. So anyway, here's one of mine. This is my favorite because I've got catitude and cats, duh. And for breakfast this morning, I am having wonderful roasted and salted pistachios. Can't go wrong with pistachios. They also remind me of my grandfather. They're his favorite nuts. So I'm going to be eating some pistachios for breakfast with my coffee. So yeah, so that's where I'm starting my day. I'm going to get back to printing out labels and getting my item numbers so that I can pull inventory to package. And then we're going to get to prepping for listing. Whoop, whoop. All right, guys, these are the first 25 items that I am prepping. The goal today is to prep 50 items. And by prep, I mean I'm going to steam measure because I include measurements in my listings and I'm going to photograph. So the goal is 50. This is half. This is 25. And we are in my kitchen. I actually only have a little bit of white in my house, and that is these uh, pantry doors. So that's where I photograph. I would like to eventually get a photo booth for my office, but the problem is I am a painter. I have a large easel and lots of canvas for the corner where the photo booth would really have to fit. So I'm not really sure what the solution for that is at this point, and this just works. My kitchen has great lighting. I have lots of windows and I have my ring light. For Google, we know that Google prefers white backgrounds. So this is the only white that I have at this point. So this is what I'm using and it has worked great so far. You will see on my stool right here that I do have a notebook. That is where I will write down the measurements as we go. And I just prefer to include measurements because I feel like it cuts down on return cases uh, on Poshmark or the request for returns on eBay and Etsy um, because the, the measurements are there before the person purchases. So, um, so yeah, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is steam these 25 items and then I'm going to measure and then I'm going to take pictures. Before I start steaming, I'm going to kind of talk about some of the items that I'm listing. 
Um, like this is a cabbie top. One of my cousins, her very good friend passed away and she gave me a bunch of pieces for me to sell. I'm going to give a percent of the sales to the lady's mother and as just sort of something back because she did get her whole wardrobe. I didn't find a whole ton of pieces that I'm going to sell. Some of it I did send a thread up, so hopefully I'll get a little bit from that. And then the rest we donated to the local thrift store that is at the animal shelter because she was a big animal lover. But this cabbie top came from her. These uh, Lucky Brand jeans. This is a Sunday in Brooklyn skirt. A linen J. Jill blazer. This is a Moschino jeans uh, little jacket. So that's cool. This was a vintage inspired Western dress. It was made in Texas and it is by a brand called B Harper. I did pick that up. This is a new to me brand of jeans. They are called R13, but they retail for a lot and they resell really well. So I picked those up. I thrifted those. This is a vintage Victoria's Secret Moda International velvet maxi dress. And it has like a back cutout. This is a pair of denim Vince trousers. A vintage Liz Sport Liz Claiborne sweater. This is a Cheddar B, which is a Nordstrom brand little dress. It's like vintage inspired. A Prana pullover. And that is from the lady who passed away. Some red velvet Talbot's pants that I picked up at the bins. This is a plaid maxi skirt that I showed in one of my hauls from JC Penney's. It's vintage and i um, going to get that listed. Y'all saw this in a haul. This is a plus size vintage dress. These are a pair of Madewell jeans that I bought for myself, but they didn't fit right. So I'm going to sell those. They're new with tags. I bought those on Poshmark. This is a Serena Williams top. I got this in that 100 pound box that I got from ThreadUp. It has polka dots. This is that vintage sailor dress that I showed in a haul. A vintage Talbot's dress that I showed on my Pensacola trip. Uh, this is a, a bolero jacket that was mined. It's, it's mod cloth band apparel. It's little polka dots. A Tibby dress that I thrifted. This is a Torrid dress that I thrifted for myself and it's just a cute little dress but I never wore it. This is a Madewell sweater and I bought it for myself from Marshalls and never ended up wearing it. This was also from the lady who passed away. It is a Betsy Johnson blazer. It's vintage and then also the skirt is Betsy Johnson. It was hers. So those are just a quick view of the items I'm going to prep. In case you're wondering, I'm using a Con Air steamer that my mother got me for Christmas. I really like it. Um, it holds a lot more water than my other steamer and it's quite powerful. everything back here stamped. I'm going to use my little notebook and what I do is I just number, just write cabby and then I know that I'm going to measure, um, see if you can see this, I'm going to measure the bust, the waist, the sleeve, and then the total length of the item. So I'll put bust, waist, sleeve, length. So this is just how I start my measurements and then I'll say, okay, lucky brand, so I'll put number two on denim. The measurements that I do are waist, hips, rise, and seam. So from the crotch of the pants down to the ankle and then the length. So the total length. So I will do waist, hip, rise, and seam length. So that's what that looks like. 
Let's see if there's anything. Skirts, just so you can see the different kinds of measurements I do. Sunday in Brooklyn. So skirts will be waist, hips, and length. Um, jackets, I do the same as tops. I don't generally do a shoulder measurement unless someone asks for it. Um, that's just an extra added one. I will do bust, waist, sleeve, and, and um, length. And let me move to a dress so you can see how I do dresses. So dresses are bust, waist, hip, sleeve, and length. So they have five measurements. Um, but I do, like I said, I don't mind doing measurements. I like to put measurements in my listing. It's just a personal preference. Some people don't do measurements at all, but it's something I like to do. So let's get to measuring. done measuring so the next thing we're going to do is photograph these 25 items and then we'll move on to batch number two all right guys so now we have steamed all 25 of these items and we have also taken the measurements on them so they are all set to be photographed i am not going to actually show you my photographing process because i use my phone for everything so i really can't I mean, I would have to be a magician for that to work. So I am going to show you real quick how I hang them up so you can at least see that. And then I will get to photographing. All right, so since I am not going to be showing you my actual photographing process, you can see I just hang the item and I will do a square mode on my phone. And then I will take photographs of a long shot of the item. I will take a picture of the tag. I will take a picture of the inside care tag and then I will flip it around and take a picture of the back and then any detailed photos that I may need. I do use stock photos. Um, I will use Google Lens to look those up. Um, that's always helpful but anyway I'm going to get to photographing so uh, let's do this. Round two, fight. All right y'all here is the second batch of the first day of prepping and photographing. This is my next 25 items that I'm going to be steaming, measuring, and then photographing. So this first item is like a lace skirt and it is Sundance. It's from my cousin's friend who passed away. Um, I have a Grayland romper. Grayland is carried by anthropology sometimes and it was given to me by a neighbor. This is the brand James Jeans. They're sold on Revolve, and that's a little denim skirt that I got, and believe in the thread up box. This is a vintage leather jacket that I purchased with a bow on it. That's really cute. This is a polka dot Serena Williams skirt that I got from thread up. A pair of American Eagle jeans that I got from the bins. A Paris J. Crew top that I got from a thrift store in Mobile. A J. Jill sweater from the bins, this raccoon sweater from the bins. Um, this is a robe by 100 Stars, new with tags from the bins. It's Paris. I showed it in a thrift haul. Um, J. McLaughlin shirt dress that I got from the bins. A vintage floral yellow dress that came from the bins in this loft dress from the bins. A Lulu's dress, new with tags from the bins, Eliza J dress from the bins, 
J. Crew dress from the bins. <laughs> A pair of high-waisted vintage leather pants that came from a thrift store in Mobile. A silk Notori robe that I got at the bins. It's really pretty embroidery. A loft floral top from the bins. A pair of Levi's. High-rise super skinny from the lady who passed away. Another loft top from the bins. A pair of loft pants from the bins in olive. Just some chinos. A Market and Spruce Stitch Fix Terry tank top. And some Tinsel Cloth and Stone pants from the bins. So I have already steamed these. Now I'm going to measure and photograph. Okay, y'all. I got my new light box and I just hooked it up in my living room just to try it out. So it is super bright. So we're going to photograph some shoes and see what they look like in this new light box. Wow. That's crazy. Good thing about this in here is it's plastic so you can wipe it out. But wow, look at the dip. look at those shoes. Look how good that looks. I'm so excited. Look at the sunshine peeking through the clouds. It is such a beautiful morning. So I just wanted to show y'all, I'm photographing this vintage Escada purse and it was looking a little flat. So what I did to stuff it, because you can really use whatever you can find, is, hello, <laughs> I used one of my kids little pillows, so, and it worked. Daddy. Why did you use that, So that I can make it all nice and big so I can take a nice picture of it. Love you, Bubba. All right, y'all, we're down to the final night. It is Friday night, and I have 80 items listed. So I just photographed these 10, and I'm gonna show you what they are. The last batch that I did was a bunch of handbags and accessories. So those were kind of fun to use my new light box, which you saw, and after I list these 10, I will only have 10 left to go, but it's 10.30 at night on Friday. And I have kiddos, so hopefully I make it, fingers crossed, but I just wanted to show you some of these items that I'm listing. These are some Levi's Mile High Cropped Wide Legs. Uh, they are new with tags. I, I bought these retail arbitrage from the liquidation store here in Mississippi. And then this Free People Top is new without tags. I also purchased it retail arbitrage. The same store. These are some Pistola Dusty Rose jeans with the zipper ankles and the raw hem. Pistola does pretty good and I got those in Mobile on one of our shopping trips over there. This is a Nike dry fit zip up pullover and it was given to me to resell. This was also given to me. This is a Lululemon tank. It's an older style. Here's the Lululemon logo. And then this was also given to me. This is another Lululemon tank. It's got the straps in the back and there's the logo. Another gift, this is really cool. This is a gold label Victoria's Secret and it is a robe and romper set. So it has the spaghetti strap romper underneath with the very high leg slits on the side, but there is some staining. It's hundred percent silk. I tried, I hand washed it. I steamed it. I did all kinds of stuff, but there is some staining on it. So I'm just going to note that in the listing cause it is a really cool set. It is missing the belt, but it's hundred percent silk. 
This is a plus size skirt. It's like a pencil skirt with some ruching and it's by Torrid and it's a size 26. And then it's just got a slip back. This is a top that used to be mine. It's actually from Mod Cloth and it's just a, like a popover top with the buttons. It is black and gold because we are New Orleans Saints fans. So I used to wear this to Saints games, but it doesn't fit anymore because I lost weight. So I'm going to sell it. And then last but not least for this batch is this ultra soft fuzzy sweater. I got this jacket in the thread up 100 pound box that I unboxed with Alicia. It doesn't have any tags. We don't know the brand. It doesn't have any size. But it's this really, really light blush pink, and it is so soft. It's like the softest thing ever. So I decided I was going to list it. Normally, I probably would not have bought something like this with no tags and no information. Um, but it's so fuzzy and soft, so I said I'm going to give it a try. So that was this batch of 10 after I get these listed. Then I will have 10 more to go and hopefully I can make it and get to bed at a reasonable time. But only time will tell. Will I make it? I don't know. Hey y'all, so I just want to show you what's left over from our listing challenge. This is the pile of inventory from the challenge, plus a couple of other items that I had listed before we started the challenge. So next week I will be doing inventory. <laughs> Yay! That is probably my least favorite thing to do. Anyway, giant tower of items that I'm going to have to inventory. So I have my work cut out for me next week. Hey y'all, it's Saturday and the listing challenge is officially over. So did Alicia and I list 100 items in five days? Well, speaking for myself personally, I made it to 90 items by midnight on Friday. I did wake up this morning and list the additional 10 items. So I did list 100 items in five and a half days, which I'm super proud of. Did I get to the 100 by Friday at midnight? No, I didn't. However, I have to say that doing this challenge with Alicia and those of you out there who participated also has been a big motivator. I've enjoyed watching some of your listing videos. My friend Bob over at Bob Buys has been listing daily and that has been a big motivator for me. I love watching her videos. Also, our friend Brittany over Brittany's Brands has been participating with us. I'll put a link to her channel below also. So you can check those two ladies out. But I'm very happy with the progress I made this week. As I showed you, I have a giant pile that I'm going to have to inventory next week. But I did make some extra sales, which makes me happy. And I definitely was motivated to do some work. So overall, I'm very happy that I did this challenge. Thank you so much, Alicia, for agreeing to do it with me. Technically, one of the five days, Alicia and I didn't actually do any listing. And that's because she and I drove over to Mobile, Alabama, where we go to the local Goodwill outlet, aka the Bins, And we spend almost the entire day over there and then, of course, have to drive home. So both of us were pretty pooped that afternoon and didn't get any listing done on Thursday. So if you take out Thursday, I think we did a pretty good job. You'll have to watch her video to see if she made it to 100. But I overall am very happy about the entire challenge. So thank you guys so much for watching and rooting us on on Instagram. That was really, really great. And it kept me accountable. So I am thankful for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. We are always putting out new and different content. We do have a ton of reselling because I am a full-time reseller. So you can check out that playlist if you're just into the reselling. But I definitely encourage you to watch some of our other videos. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.